I'm Ryan Nickel, CTO at DSA, and today I want to give you an overview of the Proteus Oceanographic pre-release. We're going to use one of the sample mooring files to go through what the overview of the software looks like. After downloading them from the website, you'll notice that they're in zip files. What you want to do is right-click on the Proteus Oceanographic sample layout files, and just click on Extract All, and then Extract. You'll have a new folder that appears with the layout files. Currently, there's only the SOS5 layout file. Let's double click on the SOS5 layout.poa file. This is a real mooring. This was deployed a few years ago. And you can see a schematic that comes with it as well. This schematic is not produced by Proteus Oceanographic currently. This is a drawing file provided by uh, Pete Jansen at Syro. Thanks, Pete. You can see there's quite a lot of detail here in the mooring. You have a surface buoy. It's about in uh, four and a half kilometers depth. There's a wire section, a neutrally uh, buoyant and positively buoyant section, lots of glass floats and the acoustic release. That's what's reflected here in Proteus Oceanographic. So let's take a closer look at Proteus Oceanographic. At the top, you've got your basic buttons for opening and saving the layout file. You can add different parts libraries. There's the environment conditions, solving, exporting build materials, and assembly layout. There's some summary information here on the water depth here, the total mooring length, aggregate mooring length of all the components, the resulting scope, which is a function of the water depth. Some really useful parameters here, like the total aggregate dry weight, this is the, you might think of this as, say, for example, the shipping weight of all the components. And then the total wet weight. This is merely the summation of all the flotation and wet weight of everything in the entire mooring. So this means with negative, it's floating. Finally, I want another thing I wanted to point out here is this estimate of the top tension and anchor tension. This is a, a, a crude estimate, but it's based on the information that's available here on flotation and wet weight on, on your system components. In this view, we've got the layout view itself. There's two things that you can add in here, an assembly and a line. And in the, the sub-assembly window is over here on the side. This is where you add components to the assembly. For example, this might be the surface buoy hull itself. If you look at a connector here, that's just one of the names of this assembly here, and it's defined with a couple of different components. B, component, B connector here, for example, has a 7 to 8 inch safety sha chain shackle, an end link, and a safety chain shackle again. And this is just reflected in this schematic drawing here as well. You can see here B 7 8 chain shackle, 1 inch end link, and 7 8 chain shackle again. So this is the assembly window. You can scroll all the way to the bottom. You can see all of the components there. Uh, I wanted to also point out uh, to set some basic environmental conditions here. You click on environment. This is where you can set your set and change your water depth. You can also specify some current velocity values as a function of depth. And this is uh, uh, for the next step in terms of uh, calculating the static profile of the mooring and calculating the static profile of the mooring in a current. We'll get into this in more detail, but once you hit solve, you export files for static analysis in Proteus DS and or export dynamic files for analysis in Proteus DS. Uh, this will require a, a license of Proteus DS to, to, to follow up on calculating these, these profiles. But for the time being, you can do a lot with the detailed mooring layout in Proteus Oceanographic. Proteus Oceanographic is a, is a free tool, it's free to download, free to use. Uh, it's a standalone tool, you don't need Proteus DS installed to work with it. So just a, just a real brief overview of what the software looks like, um, how you can put together quite detailed moorings, and then it sets you up for going to the next stage in detailed analysis. Thanks for watching.